In Edmonton Catholic Schools, we do not recommend that teachers keep uh, school files on portable USB drives that they're carrying back and forth. Uh, the reason for this is if that drive gets lost or stolen, it increases the risk and liability for both the teacher and the district, so we don't recommend it. However, if you do need to do this for certain files at certain times on a temporary basis, we, uh, our district procedures suggest that you need to encrypt it with a password. The good news is this is really, really, really easy to do. Here's how. Number one, go to a Windows 10 computer in your school. Number two, open the Windows Explorer tool and click on your USB drive that's inserted into that computer that you'd like to encrypt and password protect. After that, right click on that drive and choose Turn on BitLocker. BitLocker is the encryption service that we have at an enterprise level in Edmonton Catholic Schools and we encourage you to use it. Really easy to use, very secure. All right you will choose a password that you would like you can't forget this password because it becomes very difficult to get into your device uh, if it's if you forget that password so choose the password try it twice and click next now the good news is they will give you a file a backup recovery key file. If you forget your password, um, you can don't print this out. I don't recommend you do that. Um, if you do, print it out as a digital file and save it in your OneDrive. But I would just suggest save to a file. It's going to ask you where you want to save this. Uh, the preference is that you're on your primary teaching computer in your school such that you would have the OneDrive Edmonton Catholic School District folder there. Save that encryption key in a place you will remember one of your folders in your OneDrive Edmonton Catholic School. That way if you do ever forget the password and you really need to get in there you can recover, use the recovery key here. But just don't forget your password. Alright, so you hit save, go next. Um, now you can just encrypt uh, only the amount of space that you've used and then when you add new files to it will automatically encrypt it. Um, you could, alternatively, if you've had older files on there before uh, that have sensitive information, it's not impossible for hackers to get stuff off of the unencrypted space on the drive. So you can encrypt the entire drive or just the amount of space that you've used on that portable USB drive. It's up to you. Alright, now if you have a mix of Windows 7 and Windows 10 devices, Windows 8, um, even moving that device to uh, possibly you know a different platform altogether, uh, it's recommended you keep compatibility mode. If you are just moving this back and forth from the Windows 10 devices in your school, you can use the new encryption mode, but to be safe, use compatible mode. Hit next, start encrypting doesn't take too long. Alright, so that took about a minute, minute and a half tops, depending on how much stuff you have to encrypt. It might take a bit longer. So once it says it's complete, you can close it. Alright, now I'm going to eject this and just show you how this works. So I'm going to right click on my brand, brand new encrypted drive, right click on it and choose eject. And when you pop it in, once again, Here's what's going to happen. All right. It's going to say it's not accessible. Down here, this is what we want. The drive is BitLocker protected. Click it. It will ask you for your password. Now, if you're on your classroom computer that you would always be there and you really hate the idea of adding a password every single time, you can select automatically unlock on this PC. Don't do that to many computers. Uh, because you, you really defeat the purpose of the password. But if you feel like you really hate entering in your password each time, uh, you can theoretically set, if it's your classroom computer, you could theoretically do this, uh, such that on that particular PC, it would always let you in without having to put a password. 
For me, I would recommend you always type in your password. It's not that hard. It's just like unlocking your phone, right? That's how I view it. Click unlock and there it is. So that is how you encrypt and password protect your USB drives.